virtual story time. I'm so glad that you're able to join me today. We are going to continue our work on numbers and counting this week. So I thought our very first activity should be one of our favorite, most well-loved counting songs, The Five Little Monkeys. Now, my favorite version of The Five Little Monkeys is The Five Little Monkeys in the Tree. So that is what we are going to sing first today. So let's start with our five little monkeys. And we need to get them swinging, right? Five little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. Snap that monkey right out of that tree. How many monkeys are left in our tree? Four little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. Snap that monkey right out of that tree. How many monkeys are left? Three little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. Snap that monkey right out of that tree. Any monkeys left? Two little monkeys swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator, can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. Snap that monkey right out of that tree. Tree. How many monkeys are left? One little monkey swinging in a tree. Teasing Mr. Alligator can't catch me. Along comes Mr. Alligator, quiet as can be. Snap that monkey right out of that tree. <laughs> to teach you guys a really simple fun little finger play it's called five fat peas and it goes like this five fat peas in a pea pod press you can make a fist just like this one grew two grew and so did all the rest they grew and they grew and they did not stop until one day the pod went pop. Do you think you can do that with me this time? Let's try again. Five fat peas in a pea pod press. One grew, two grew, and so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they did not stop until one day the pod went Good job, guys. So the activity that I have for you guys to work on this week is a number hunt. So either around your house or if you go out for a walk in your neighborhood, look for the different numbers that you can see in your environment. This is a great way to work on those number recognition skills. Uh, and just to see how many numbers there are all around you on um, the houses or the mailboxes when you're out walking or the clock on the wall in your house, the numbers that might be on a spine, anywhere that you can find numbers, um, just explore and see what you uh, can find around you. So I hope that you have fun working on that this week. If you would like more books, songs, craft ideas, activities, videos, you can go and visit the library's webpage. It is at www.finleylibrary.org and under the kids tab at the top there is a page for virtual story time. Miss Amy and I have been working on story time handouts for you guys and you will find a counting one on there with um, books that you can easily find on Hoopla. That is our one of our digital platforms and um, if you have a library card all you need to do is access 
that's all you need to access that. So um, these are all books that you can read at home to extend our story time. So I hope that you guys had fun and I hope that you will join me again next time. So everybody have a wonderful day. Bye.